Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ikea. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are definitely a real one. Y'all, it has been obnoxiously cold outside and I honestly cannot take it. I don't even want to go outside. I want to stay in the house where it is warm and cozy. So during this time of year when it is just extremely cold, I really love to pull out warm and cozy fragrances. So I'm going to share some of my favorite warm, sweet, cozy, even a little sexy <laughs> fragrances with you all today. So if that's something that you're interested in, then just keep on watching. And before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, of course. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And click on that notification bell so you do not miss out on a single video. Let's get it. So I have a good handful of fragrances that I love reaching for in the wintertime that are warm, cozy, and they just are comforting to me when it is extremely cold. So the first fragrance that I want to share is from Montal, and this is Chocolate Greedy. I'm going to pull this little tab off because it's really annoying, but this is such a beautiful chocolatey fragrance. To me, it smells like a fresh brownie that just came out of the oven. It is so so sweet, so warm, and so delicious. So in Chocolate Greedy, there's cocoa, there's vanilla, tonka bean, coffee, and then there's some dry fruity notes. Ugh, I absolutely love this. So if you like smelling like a snack and you want people to say that you're very delicious, this is definitely a great fragrance. I like Montal because their fragrances for a niche house are somewhat affordable. They're pretty much comparable in price range to some of your designer fragrances, but the performance is really great on Montal fragrances. So this one is definitely a great performance fragrance. It lasts all day and I get a ton of compliments on it. Again, this one is called Chocolate Greedy. So I have another fragrance from Montal and the packaging is exactly the same as Chocolate Greedy, but this is actually called Vanilla Cake. This to me actually smells like chocolate cake, but it is still very sweet. Smells just like a delicious birthday cake. This is more lactonic and again, very sweet. There is meringue in here. There's milk, vanilla, and almond. Ugh, it's so delicious. If you want to, again, smell like a snack, I definitely um, love pulling out vanilla cake during this time of year. It's sweet, it's sensual, and it is very, very cozy. And we have another one from Montal, but this is a beautiful, warm, floral fragrance. It also has a little bit of sweetness to it as well. This is Intense Cafe from Montal, and I absolutely love this. It's, this one is actually probably my favorite fragrance from the House of Montal. I think this is just absolutely beautiful. In here, there's rose, vanilla, there's some coffee, of course. There's a little bit of milk in here as well, and this is absolutely beautiful. Some people compare this to Gentle Fluidity Gold from Mason Francis Kirk Dijon, and I actually do kind of get the similarity, but this is so beautiful. When it says intense, it is absolutely intense. This is long lasting, and if you like a warm floral that's still very cozy and comforting, I definitely recommend Intense Cafe from Montal. All right, so now we have a fragrance from BDK Fragrances, which I absolutely love BDK Fragrances. This is one of my favorite gourmands. This is Rouge Smoking. It is a beautiful, sweet cherry fragrance, and it has, of course, cherry. There's pink pepper, bergamot, vanilla, cashmere, musk, and amber. It is such a delicious fragrance. Now, this isn't like a cherry fragrance um, comparable to Lost Cherry. To me, this is more like a sweet, fizzy, cola kind of cherry fragrance. This reminds me of a Dr. Pepper or a cherry cola. It's very fun. It's sweet. It's warm. Perfect if you're doing like Netflix and chill and you just want to stay cozy and have a good vibe. This is definitely a good fragrance for that. Again, this one is Rouge Smoking from BDK and it is so delicious and divine. 
And another fragrance from BDK that I think is very warm and very cozy is Velvet Tonka. This is such a beautiful gourmand. It has almond, there is some vanilla in here, a little bit of musk and orange blossom. It is just absolutely divine, delicious. I know I said that about the previous BDK fragrance, but this one is just the same. It just smells like a beautiful, warm, vanilla, almondy fragrance. So if you like almond, then I definitely recommend Velvet Tonka. There's also some Tonka bean in here, of course. And then there's also a little bit, bit of tobacco. It's not super smoky though. It's very much on the sweet gourmand side. Very, very cozy, very warm. Again, this is another fragrance that I would probably recommend for Netflix and chill, or even something just very cozied up, like watching a movie, going to the movies or something like that. I just love Velvet Tonka. It's absolutely beautiful and perfect if you want a warm and cozy vibe. Next is Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere from Philosophy. This is such a beautiful, warm, vanilla, coconut, and even somewhat woody fragrance. So there's vanilla in here, there's coconut, there's a little bit of musk in here, some sandalwood, and I just... Mm, I can't get enough of this one. I like to wear this one before I go to bed and I just like to bundle up in my blanket and this definitely makes me feel so warm and comforting. I absolutely love this fragrance. I kind of think of like sitting by a fireplace too when I smell this fragrance. It's absolutely beautiful. So again, this one is Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere from Philosophy. So next we have Grand Soir from Mason Francis Kirkjean, and this is a beautiful amber fragrance. It's not super sweet, but there is some amber in here, vanilla. There's also tonka bean in here as well. To me, this is just so sensual. It's a great unisex fragrance, and I honestly feel like it smells great on a lot of people. It's the perfect fragrance for cooler months. It definitely shines in the cooler months. The amber in here is just so beautifully done to where it just adds this nice warmth to this fragrance. And I absolutely love this. So again, this one is Grand Soir from Mason Francis Kirkjean. So this next fragrance is warm, cozy, but this is also a little spicy. This is Changing Constance from Penhaligans, and this is actually one of my favorite gourmand fragrances. There's pimento in here, there's some cardamom, vanilla, praline, caramel. It is absolutely divine. It's sweet, it's delicious, but that kick of spice in this fragrance really, really makes me happy. Um, I like to wear this when when I'm going out at night doing something very, very chill. Even though I said I wanted to stay in, this is also a great fragrance if you are doing something very chill at night. Um, I would still say that this is a great Netflix and chill, warm, cuddle up fragrance, but this is very sensual and again, very spicy and it's absolutely beautiful. This one is pretty unique to me. I haven't smelled too many fragrances that smell similar to this one, but I absolutely love it. So if you want something sweet and cozy, but you want a little kick of spice and you still want it to be warm, I definitely recommend Changing Constance from Penhaligans. Another warm and cozy fragrance that I really enjoy is from Mason Margiela's Replica line, and this is Coffee Break. Uh, when I think about cozy, calming fragrances, this is what naturally comes to mind. This is a beautiful coffee fragrance, which has coffee in it. There's lavender and it's a little creamy. There's some milk in here. There's some patchouli in here as well. And I honestly love this fragrance so much, especially if I'm just trying to have a chill vibe. If I'm definitely in the house and I'm chilling, I probably have Coffee Break on because it's absolutely beautiful. That lavender in here is so beautifully done. It meshes well with all of the other notes. It's not super overpowering. Some people say that they don't really smell the coffee in this fragrance. I do, but it is a little faint. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a coffee fragrance. To me, this is more of a sweet, milky, vanilla lavender fragrance. The coffee kind of plays in the background, but it's still absolutely beautiful and very, very cozy. So again, this is Replica's Coffee Break. 
So next we have Oud Bouquet from Lancome. And when I think about warm fragrances, I feel like we have to mention Oud Bouquet. This is so warm and so sweet. This is also very sensual. And I just absolutely love this fragrance. Ooh, to me, is a great note that stands out in the cooler months, and it also adds some warmth to your fragrances. So this fragrance, of course, has oud. There's some praline in here. There's rose and vanilla. The rose and the oud and vanilla in this fragrance is absolutely divine. It makes for a very nice, sweet oud fragrance. It's not super woody and super scratchy either. It's absolutely beautiful. Very, very balanced nicely. And the oud in here is very smooth. But this is such a great warm fragrance. And I love wearing it when it's super cold outside. I just, ugh. I cannot get enough of Lancome's Oud Bouquet. So next we have Lyra from Zerzhoff. And this is a beautiful citrus vanillic fragrance. In the opening, you get this blast of blood orange. There's also some bergamot in here, some jasmine, licorice, cinnamon, vanilla, and musk. Oh, so divine. This is sweet and warm. It actually reminds me of a pound cake, like a lemon pound cake with a little bit of orange zest on top. I am so in love with Lyra. It is just ugh, one of my favorite gourmands. I feel like a lot of people gravitate towards this gourmand because it is absolutely delicious and it is so, so beautiful. This is one of those gourmand fragrances that's complex and it has so many different characteristics to it, but it's absolutely beautifully done. The notes in here mesh so well together. It's not overly sweet. It still is just such a great gourmand fragrance. So I definitely say if you have not checked out Lyra, I would suggest getting your hands on a sample and definitely checking this one out if you love gourmand fragrances. Now, when we talk about warm and cozy, I feel like we have to mention this beautiful fragrance right here. It is Vanilla 28 from K. Ali. This is my favorite vanilla fragrance. Honestly, it's probably my favorite gourmand. This is absolutely beautiful and delicious. It makes my mouth water. So in Vanilla 28, of course, there's vanilla. There's vanilla orchid too. There's a little bit of jasmine in here, some brown sugar, a little bit of musk. Absolutely divine, okay? If you really want to get like a specific vanilla fragrance that smells straight up like true vanilla, this one is one that I would definitely recommend. Now it's always sold out, but if you can get your hands on it, I definitely say try this one out. Absolutely beautiful. My number one compliment getter in my collection. And I just, ugh, I cannot get enough of this. I will repurchase this over and over again and I will constantly spray it because this is my jam. It is warm, it's cozy, and it's even sensual. So again, this one is from Kay Ali and it is Vanilla 28. So the last and final fragrance that I want to share with you all is from Van Cleef and Arpels, and this is Orchidae Vanille. This is a beautiful vanilla fragrance, but it's a little powdery. It actually reminds me of powdered sugar. In here, there's vanilla, there is cocoa, dark chocolate, there's vanilla orchid, as well as some musk and tonka bean. I am just absolutely in love with this fragrance. To me, this is a great powdery vanilla scent. So if you like fragrances that are powdery, I would definitely recommend this one. But it is still very warm and cozy, perfect for this time of year. And this is a newer one to my collection, but I'm so happy that I've added it. I absolutely love this. It is just so beautifully done and it's powdery, but it's not overly powdery. I personally am not a huge fan of powdery fragrances. This one isn't overly done. To me, it's more of a sweet powdery, like a confection sugar or something. It's absolutely beautiful and I love it. So again, this one is from Van Cleef and Arpels and it is Orchidae Vanille. 
All right, y'all. So those were all of my favorite warm and cozy fragrances. I love wearing those types of fragrances during this time of year. It is just my vibe. Again, I like to be in the house, bundled up, cuddled up, and Netflix and chilling. That is my vibe during this time of year. But comment down below and let me know what some of your favorite warm and cozy fragrances are. Of course, I'm nosy and I just want to know what you're wearing this time of year. Again, I thank y'all so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it, of course. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and you can check me out on social media. My Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok handles will be linked down below in the description box. I thank y'all again. I hope you have a great one and I'll talk to you later. Bye!